Welcome, ladies and you boys, too. I'm Aravero here as always, and this is Earth Cow's house in Archville on the Zedwork LVS server. Do you ever get that feeling there's somebody's been in your place? Like, I know some people are like fussy about their stuff, but Leek, you know. Like my husband has this coworker that he's that he's constantly tormenting because she likes to have things you know symmetrical and 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 neat and tidy and stuff and and he'll just move things a little bit just to torment her. Anyway, uh, feels like that in here a little bit. Kind of feels like somebody's been touching my stuff. Hmm, okay, I want to get, um, that one has nothing in it. I want to get out a end rod. I think I will have end rods in here. Mm, not end rod. Nope, not end rod. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's the boxes that I've been working from? I think this one, maybe. I have an idea for this kitchen. This kitchen. Okay, which I, which box has got the items I need in it? This one then. This one then. Um, still no. Well, I mean, it has a few of the items I want in it. I want, I want, I want... At the moment, I want some iron bars. Had a whole mess of iron bars when I was in here working last week. And so, now I can't find iron bars. Explain that one to me. Okay. Let's see. Nope. There's enough iron right there to make the iron bars I need, though. Um, nope. They're very definitely hiding from me. Are there iron bars in this one? I just looked in this one, right? Pretty sure I just looked in that one. Yeah. Okay. Give me, give me that little bit of iron so I can make the iron bars and have done with it. Crafting table. Crafting table. Crafting table. I don't have a crafting table up here yet. Oh dear. Okay, iron bars. Iron bars, give me some iron bars. I didn't use all the iron bars I had. I know I didn't. I'm just gonna lose my mind a little bit. All right, um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, this is what I was thinking. Here, and um, one more. I wanted it to come out from the thing and be like a chandelier. Uh, Mm, let's try it. I'm not. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna like that. But let me try it. I want to see, cause it sits a little too close to the wall. I want it to. I want it to visibly come. I wanted it to visibly come out of that block. But it might be not. Might not work because a, because that block is too close to the wood right there. Um, and there wouldn't be any room to put, like, for this light, it wouldn't be any room to put an actual power source on it, either, now that I'm looking at it. Um, so, no. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. I thought I was going to like that at all. Okay, um, let's see. Wait, what's this? No, people are not nosy like that on this server. 515 LVS episode 23. Oh, that was in regards to a comment that I made in the last video. You know, this this build is a little bit different because EC has been poking his head in every now and again to check the progress. And so every now and again I'll hear something from him about the progress. But in the past, when I've done decorating jobs... Um, I don't think that anybody's been nosing around, and so I'm a little bit self-conscious of the, the in-between stages. It's like, no, don't fall in love with something. I might change it. <laughs> and then what if you wanted it back? And then I was like, no, it's going to ruin my whole design concept. So, yeah. Um, I do want a light over this table, though. I think I do want a light over this table. Let me try. We don't have enough light sources in this game. Okay, let me just try glowstone floating um, at the right position. Of course, the right position is right here. So that is still going to look funny no matter what we do, right? Okay, that's not the right position. 
<laughs> fail. Um, okay, let's try that. And I hope that was a silk touch pick. Um, <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 nope. But I did have another idea for something, I think. Um, yes, I had an idea that had something to do with putting something to do with moving that um carpet and then and then and then and then and then, and then, and then it was it was it was um putting water in there what would happen what would happen if we put water in inside the cauldron come here and then i don't know put a bush on top of it or something it would still look weird it would still it would really look weird to have a bush in the middle of the table it really would um that's not where you get water from you get water from sources like this okay let's put some water in this cauldron i've seen somebody do something a thing uh oh huh huh that's that that's really 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 unusual that's really, really unusual, but I don't hate it. It's like the table's fine. He, it, 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 the, um, I know what to do. Um, I need the light there. I need a light. I need a light, so I can't really take this torch away. Okay, what's over here under this under this carpet? Let's see. What's under this carpet? Okay, this is kind of. This is going to be a kind of invisible slab anyway, so maybe we can get away with sticking either the torch under that carpet, because the torch would be easier to hide behind behind this cauldron, and then we'll have a light source there, because we can put the t torch, we can put the carpet back on the to table, and then we could put like a flower pot in this spot right here. Um, except I think it would have to be a full block in order for this to work. Can I move this block? Yes, I can. You, you Can you move some minutes so I can just, like, pull this up here? Okay. So, let's turn this into a tabletop. And then we'll put this one back where it was. Okay, and then a flower pot. A flower pot, flower pot, flower pot. I just saw one. I bet it's downstairs. Okay, it's downstairs. All right. So buttons. Um do 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 a flower pot at the back just because I want to give um there to be a little I want there to be a little something visually like right here. Um uh, uh, something in the pot. Well, that we definitely need something inside of the pot. Is there any saplings? There's, oh, there's a fern. That's good enough for now. We'll get to see it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Well, that that might be enough to make the tabletop look better, but I still feel like I want... No, we already know we can't put anything in the top space. I would like a little bit of something filling in the top. This is my problem. I want something up here. So, um, let me get some paintings. I'm going to try... Put those there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use some leaves because the leaves are great for spacers. I'm not, they're my favorite thing. No, that's not what I was trying to do. This is what I was trying to do. I was like, no, what's wrong here? This is what I want to do. And then put that there so it forces it to be a one. And nope, still want that one there. Still want one there, but no, I need it there. I need it there. Force a painting right here. And if I could get them to both be the same, that might be really helpful. Although I think I might not want the beer one. Um, let's move the leaves because they're not exactly the objective. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Um, you know what? I just realized I'm supposed to be somewhere doing a thing. If I do that, it's going to look like a face. It's going to look like another face right here there's another face Erg. and there's no three wide paintings so I can't put that 
All right. Um, maybe if I do same thing, but instead of doing it there, do it here. Ooh. I hadn't thought about there being two tall ones that are too tall, but um, let's see. Uh, no, give me give me two that match. Come on now. Just don't be difficult. Thank you. I hadn't thought about that, but you know what? If that would work, then maybe banners would work. But no, if I put banners there, it'd be too many banners over in that place. Um, I think that's too much or too dark. Maybe I need the one of the other ones. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay, that's something I'm just going to have to come back to at another time because, as I said, I'm supposed to be somewhere doing something. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, I'm looking at this window, and I'm thinking that my curtains do not hang low enough. Um, and I'm hoping that if I make them come... See, right now it seems a little bit ish, cut off and boxy, and I'm hoping, hoping that it will just finish it out if I can get... If I can go ahead and throw in, why why are there 15? There's supposed to be 16 of those. Okay, can you not be there? That's not where you're supposed to be. Okay, um, there, and there, and there. Okay, so how's that doing? Okay, all right, I think that finishes it off to a better length. I still am kind of like having a struggle with this this room because it's an odd number. I'm gonna have, I mean, an even number because the width is an even number. I'm gonna have to do something. There's gonna have be a challenge in having it be an, a room that's accessible, as in you can walk into it if you were a guest, say for example, and sit in the furniture. And at the same time, I'm also having a problem with what kind of furniture I want to make. Like for example, uh, what kind of materials do I have down here, right? Um, I have jungle wood, um, I have spruce wood, and, um, I don't have dark oak. There's the nether brick, and I, th I would have expected to have dark oak. I feel like I'm missing a chest. Okay. Um... And then another one of the problems I'm having is there's a window up here that's the same as the one downstairs. Okay, so this window is not the same actually. It's not as tall, but I was hoping that I could put the same the same principle to use that I have done up here um, with the cornice connecting the two windows, the same cornice piece connecting the two windows like that, and then. Um, have the curtain hanging off the side. Oh, I need more connect. I need more win window pieces. Wait, I've done something strange here. I have gone a little bit wider. Why did I do that? Sometimes it's better to just trust your instincts, right? Like this window is not the same shape. It's a little bit wider. So, um, because it's not wider, it's it's not as tall is the difference. It's not as tall. So I'm just gonna like go with my gut here. Why did I make this error? Sometimes your gut tells you things and you don't know like why. So I'm just gonna trust it for a minute. Okay, see if it works. The worst that can happen is it doesn't work and I am have all these extra light blue banners around. Okay, that could potentially work. Let's throw some carpets up there. The carpets are not gonna reach all the way across here because the roof is too low. So I'm gonna have a little bit of less cornice, less roof there. Hmm, so that is interesting. It's a little bit wider than the window. I'm not sure I'm in love with that. But I'm going to leave those there for now because, like I said, I wanted to experiment. I think I think it's a little too, look, it's kind of blending into the stone over here. And with this peeking through, I think it's a little bit too wide. Let's see if we can close it in by pulling it in. See what happens if we do that. This, And in this way, it would be the same as it is downstairs. Um, which should come in closer to the cornice piece, but still I'm missing a piece of, of, of the above shelf. The carpet above would still be missing. Hmm. 
Yeah. Hmm, not sure about that. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. Let's pull this in and see what it looks like. This was, like I said, I intended to do it the same, but it has the potential of not working because it's different, slightly differently proportioned. Go there and then here. Doot, 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 and up, up, up. All right. And maybe it's it's okay. The room needs something. There's going to have to be something here, furniture-wise, to break up, up this window space in front in order for those curtains to work. So that may or may not work. All right. So curtains. So as I was saying, one of the problems I'm having down here, I got distracted. Not at all. I did not get distracted. These things never happen to me. Would be like, for example, furniture like this. Do I want to have the furniture scoop this way towards the stairs because okay first of all I did something wrong there so do I want the furniture to scoop towards the wall towards the stairs so that it's like this is the focal point that everybody that is sitting here is looking at okay well maybe not what's over here then maybe over here is where the focal point is we probably don't want the focal point to be the dining hall so actually this kind of feels about right let's turn it so that the focal point of this furniture whatever it is that the guests are looking at is over there primarily this is the direction that the guests are going to be looking right and then we'll have like the get the house the house parent what about the chair the home parent the the home parent good grief my tongue the um host this is going to be the host's chair right here sort of okay it's ec's chair is over here and then maybe we'll have a table in the middle of some kind like um or a carpet or something i'm not even sure let's just i'm just for a placeholder i'm going to throw these down here on the floor okay so there's something here a table or a placeholder or something and we still have a little bit not quite enough there's not enough height here for these chairs, right? So we're gonna have to figure out some way to make them taller. I don't really wanna resort to the door chairs because it'd be too much like the, what's in the dining hall. So we're gonna think of something that's gonna be taller and still look elegant and fit with the curtains and all of that stuff. But then, okay, so we have our seating over here. So then what, whatever we're gonna put over here, we have dining, we have that, whatever we're gonna put over here could potentially be the focal point or or else that we need to turn the furniture so that the focal point is what's out through the window. Well, the window isn't quite the grand picture window that I was anticipating it being, and we could potentially put something up here that might be worth having seating going to. Um, what kind of a thing would a bachelor like Earth Cow have on display over here, or perhaps some kind of an activity or entertainment that guests would sit here and enjoy communicating or you know entertaining here and but still be people doing something over there like I don't know something I'll think of something I will think of something there will be something okay and then so we have this curtain well, that doesn't bother doesn't bother me very much right now uh, so okay that curtain isn't bothering me I think that I want to have the bed over here on this side of the upstairs room just for the sake of watch you come up the stairs and the first thing you can kind of see of the room is over here so we're gonna have to have something over there that's going to draw attention without sucking it in right it's gonna be just something that your attention can happily skim over you turn you see the window and then you turn and this is the truly quote-unquote private part of the bedroom so some kind of possibly even some kind of room divider right here like in the present moment what I'm thinking would be nice is like oak fence do I have any oak fence um yes oak fence so let's try this I, I don't I, I I haven't seen like right then when I walked up the stairs and was like pointing trying to say what I was trying to say I kind of just started to feel this oak fence so it can't go there because that's where the but like an oak fence right here so there's like a partition kind of a thing and hmm 
I, I don't know if I can get it, to, if this is as high as it'll go, I'm not sure that that'll be the right thing. Some kind of, maybe maybe it doesn't need to be like the full floor, full to the floor kind of a thing or something. It can go like across here. I'm trying to see if I can feel this out enough to make it go on and make it be the thing I was thinking. Okay, so there'd be this thing that would kind of create sort of um, some semblance of of the separation of space here, sort of the same way we use these partition walls down here, just as in a way to create the space, but without enclosing it because I don't want to... I don't know, it might actually work. It's almost like it needs to have slabs, it needs to fill this slabs in here in order for it to like all the way up through to here. And then in that case, you would do the same thing on that side, I think, just to make it, I'm not sure. It could potentially work against us. It could potentially work for us. Okay. And then you would have some kind of um, headboard back here. So my, my problem is, um, I think I might want some dark oak and I don't believe I have any here. What is this? What is that? That's spruce. Okay, I want some dark oak because uh, because dark oak is going to contrast. Like this is, I don't think I want the red of the nether brick here. So I think I might want dark oak for some of the remaining furniture. And then whatever we put here, there could be something, some kind of some kind of um i don't like maybe a card table kind of a thing hmm card table or actually a card table might be very period appropriate and but there's a table over there already so why have two tables that that part i don't like hmm i'm going to think it through okay um and then the problem is if i use a partition like this then I probably will want to change the color. I can't change the color of this wall because this wall kind of needs to stay the color it is because of the way it fits in with the stairs. And I also don't like the where that door is. So the door is going to have to go right here. Light, you have to go away. All right. And maybe that gets filled in. <laughs> okay. So one thing I'm not liking is that these two sides don't match. Um, and I'm not sure that it's, I'm not sure that this fence is the right answer. Um, so it might be worthwhile to just, did I pick up some, okay, I think I have some spruce paneling. Okay, spruce, yeah, spruce paneling. Wait, I can't, this, 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 this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. I mean, it's the gut instinct thing, but you don't want to, you don't actually want this result. I don't actually want this result, I don't think. Um, stairs, upstairs, upstairs. Okay, so what I was thinking just then is I've got that wall there. Give me these fences. Um, so what I need to do is, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, right. And then this part here goes to paneling is what I'm thinking just as a yes there's a door there um let the door be there actually if that door's there then this door should be in the same spot just to balance it then this this room will look the same on both sides right so that gives me a room that compresses in um this here is a little bit of a problem but we can mimic we could take and pretend, we might be able to pretend, um, depending on what kind of block that is right there, that is a slab. We might be able to pretend, that probably is a slab or could be pretended, we could pretend the same shape here um, and then we would just have to put slabs in here to make them match up. Yep, 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 we could pretend that spot, there we go, okay. So if this line carried around to here, which I don't have the slabs on me or I would be poking with right now, then you would have a room that was defined, um, or at least a little bit more definition of space. 
I'm not sure how I would like that. What if we did the same thing over here then? Um, so that that would be here like this. Um, and then we could do the same thing. Uh, do, do, do. I'm saying the same thing over and over again. So we can say the same thing over and over again. Like that right here. We'll be partition, uh, put another partition right there, but that's exactly the same. So that's going to give us this little bit of a structural enhancement right there around the curtains, maybe. And, um, and then define this space. Now we're going to have these walkthrough areas that go through to the door. So that's going to be, um, that's going to be a decorative challenge. Okay, so we're going to make that the same, make that the same, and leave those like that. Um, I kind of like this idea. So let's go ahead and make these ceilings match. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take and make this ceiling here come around this way so that it matches this corner here. And then we may do something else right here where the plank colors don't match. Okay, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem because right there we don't want that gap to be there. We'll have to think about that. All right. So that is some ideas tossed around. Now this is going to close this space in and give it some definition. That's going to be fine. That's The definition part is going to be fine. All righty. Um, well, it looks like I'm out of time for this episode. I feel like we've made some progress because we got curtains fixed, <laughs> made a better table. I feel like I still want a lamp. Let me try one more thing just because I can, and it'd be this right here. What if um, I stood right here and put that lamp there? Does that, is, it's not centered over the table. What I was going for was right here as a lamp. Um, but I don't think that's the right height, is it? That's not the right height. Let's try one, two. Okay, that one. All right, now, if this was a lamp, um, we don't have to actually worry about, oh gosh, I really do not like the idea of something just floating there. There needs to be something visually interesting right here in this part of the build, but I'm not sure what yet. Maybe a curtain, maybe a shelf above the kitchen table, something there. Okay, so other things that I want to do is I want to come in here, I want to reconfigure the kitchen because we now have a different shape kitchen. Like, for example, this part really right there is really bugging me. I'm not bothered by that one. I can't get rid of this because these two planks, these two acacia planks are the bottom of the stairs. So anyway, I need to reconfigure the kitchen and I don't really have any ideas right now. So. Next episode, dark oak for possible furniture. We're going to continue to play with this idea up here. Um, I will fix this roof. I will attempt to fix this roof in between episodes and see what happens. And I'm out of time for this episode as it is. So let me just let you all see you all next episode. Let you all see you all next episode. Mm -hmm, that's what I said. Eridoodle-doo, toodle-doo. <laughs>